Hey everybody, it's me, Ligar Lax, and I'm back again doing another review. This is Memorial Day. Uh, if you guys like this game back in the day, it's a laser disc game. So this game's called uh, Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair was one of my favorite games along with Space Ace, and I remember playing these games on the Philips CDI, you know, um, like Space Ace and all that stuff. But Dragon's Lair was the only one I actually playing the arcade when I'm talking about genres of full motion videos. But uh, later on, you know, when Xbox, the original Xbox came out, they came out with this game called Dragon's Lair 3D. Now, Dragon's Lair 3D, I have it for the PC because I figured, hey, the PC version, I have a computer stronger than the Xbox, so I might as well play it. So, um, this game is basically a remake of the original classic, but in 3D. Physically controlling, you know, Kirk with his, um, you know, sword, and you're able to climb on your own. And you're there to save the princess, you know. I was hoping for them to make a sequel, but this game did get uh, great reviews. It was, it, I mean, for the PC, there was something about it. Like, um, I mean, I don't know. It, it was very fluent. And this was one of the first games that was ever released on a full 720p on, on the um, Xbox, you know. So... 720p is great, you know, uh, from the original Xbox, because most of their games are 480i or 480p. Um, if you know what that P means, P means uh, progressive, all right, progressive scan. I made a review about how making your PlayStation games run in progressive scan. So when, this game is really, I mean, wow, you know, um, it's very well animated. And uh, I mean, the shell, uh, cell shaded graphics really convinced me a lot. A lot. But I do enjoy playing a racing game called Automa de Lista by Capcom. And the requirements on this game is not much. I mean, of course, they're trying to make everybody play this game. So, look, I mean, it's really animated. And the camera angles reminds me of um, Psychonauts or, you know, something that came out of a Tim Burton movie. But this is a, a, a great example of uh, benchmarking an old computer and saying, hey, look, I got a nice looking game. Um... Also, the controls and the camera adjustment reminds me of MDK2. I don't know if you remember that. They actually made a remastered HD edition. Now, the drawback. Um, there was something about the past that got me, okay? Like, hey, I bought this game, Dragon's Lair 3D. And then they came out with this. Yeah, because this is published by Ubisoft, you know? Ubisoft, they made it a lot of beautiful games, you know, of the past. They, get, they also did some, you know, Ubi, I, I mean, I don't know why they changed their logo a lot, you know, because they have Tomb Raider, they have the Rayman series, even along with uh, the Ghost Recon. I love Ghost Recon. It comes in third or first person shooting. But I don't know what is this, okay? I got really suspicious, you know, because I bought this physical copy in Electronic Boutique, and it's very heavy. You know, because it has many CDs for installation running on big video. Yeah, because they're using really strong, um, high-resolution compressed video formats, you know. But yeah, I bought this. And then I noticed about this. I was like, hmm, I'm in a, le a legitimate store that has patent-pending products. And it's by Digital Leisure. Okay, Digital Leisure is a company that's known for making um, or converting American laser games or any full motion video games that was released in the past to your PC. Uh, they made um, this uh, release, uh, Crime Fighter. I mean, look, the cover does not attract people until you grab the box and then you finally see, hey, who shot the Johnny Rock and the Drug Wars and Crime Patrol, you know, um, by Digital Leisure. Uh, they also republished a lot of games like uh, the... The Mad Dog McCree 1 and 2. Uh, Who Shot Johnny Rock is my favorite game along with the Drug War games. And this game came out. <laughs> oh my god. I noticed something about the box. It's very soft. You know? I mean like this box. What we get inside this unit. Of course it has an uh, um, inner shell to protect the outer shell cover. And what's inside is you get two CD-ROM installation disc, and of course I actually mailed out the registration card. That was what's originally in the box. Also, the manual is over here. All right, it's right here. Let's let's see how the manual looks like. Yeah, it's in black and white. Okay, but very glossy. I gotta say it's glossy. Um, the CD printing, the way how they had published and print the CD. It looks very cheap. It's just 
but it's really good condition the way I have it. I mean, it's just cheaply orangely printed and green in the back. I don't know why, because one is a play disc and one is the installation disc. So right here is what I got from that box. Now what's inside this? Since I already have that installed and then when I opened the box, it didn't have any protective sleeve, but it did have an opening shell right here. It was very convincing, you know, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm going to play this game again. And you don't even need a heavy requirement, system requirements on this, you know, Windows 95, 200 megahertz and a four speed CD-ROM. Okay, because uh, four speed, is, there's disc one and disc two. Um, that's all it came with. Instruction manuals on a PDF file where you have to install Adobe Acrobat and it's in black and white. I'm gonna put this on my Blu-ray reader and you, this is what we're gonna get, okay? Cause this is gameplay. Look at the depth on it, you know, it's amazing, right? Okay, now I, um, it's, I'm loading this game right now. So I don't know if this is gonna be a collector's item or probably, cause I bought this game for 19.99 as well as that one and Okay, let's, okay, I'm running it. And the interface right here is, ex okay, you don't need to install nothing. The interface is exactly, exactly like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace that was released by Digital Leisure, this company. The screenshot is obviously on purposely over contrast to prove to you that someone is going to play the game for you. So... Let me see if I can full screen it. There we go. This is me play I'm gonna play this. Look at this. Um the controls is exactly like Dragon's Lair 1 and 2, the attack button, your direction pad. But the concept of this box was that somebody is playing the game for you and then you're controlling its fate as it's already pre-drawn or I don't know, it's hard to explain. The compression on this is so whack. Look, uh oh, I messed up. So instead of the original animation, they just put in somebody recording it and <laughs> Okay, uh, These objects, there's nothing but a full motion video. Um, basically, it's I paid 20 bucks, and this is before playthrough existed on YouTube. Before, I mean, this is a one out of ten, <laughs> but for this guy right here, I gotta give it a seven out of ten. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great game. Um, I recommend playing on the console as well compared to the PC it's so identical nope this game is not released on the PS2 and I gotta tell you guys please uh, purchase uh, the new digitally remastered that's released in Steam uh, they also have um, crime fighter I mean I don't know if you guys can find it crime fighter is uh, an original trilogy package name for their games called crime patrol drug wars and who shot Johnny Rock if you guys Google that, you'll you'll enjoy. I mean, look at this it's called Crime Fighter. It didn't even say. I don't know, Digital Leaser. What the f wrong with you guys? Cause uh, there's something wrong about you guys. You guys don't know how to market your stuff. You know, unlike Ubisoft. Look at this more professional. And you gotta see, uh, Sega made this game called Time Traveler back in the days in the arcade. It was a great arcade game, and then they released it on. Um, and the PC and the DVD, it's the worst copy I've ever seen. And of course, it comes with the 3D glasses that have these orbs. I mean, that's a long review to get to, but for Dragon's Lair 3D, I recommend you playing this copy or the Xbox uh, original Xbox edition. Don't even think about coming across this because you're just gonna condemn yourself on a playthrough. So you better just go to YouTube and just do that. But you want to play it physically, go for this title. You can only buy it used or buy a torrent illegally or legally. So, I thank you guys for watching because uh, I really wanted to make an explanation about Dragon's Lair 3. Not 3D, 3. Because they put that word 3D because, you know, I remember Robocop 3 came out and they made a PC game by Amiga along with the PC. 
Robocop 3D. Get the gimmick how they make titles. So, yep. Thank you for watching.